Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to show you the Kenny Pioneer Museum, which is in the town of Clear Lake, Iowa, which is just a few miles west of Mason City, where I did a video yesterday. I've seen a lot of these Pioneer Museums, and I've already had a look, and this is definitely one of the better ones. So come along with me. Let's look through the museum together. Well, I guess Mason City had their own car manufacturer at one time. Let's look around. Looks pretty good for being that old. Looks like these ladies are marriage-minded. And this one even worse. <laughs> you wear a bonnet to bed? Hmm. Let's see your tinkle on the piano. I bet this job was hard work. This looks like a pretty hard seat. I have a haircut, a shave, and a bath. <laughs> and you can't get away from a history museum without seeing one of these. Guess where this family is going in their is that a Calistoga wagon doing the Oregon Trail? Pronounced it wrong, it's Conestoga. They do have some really nice early American home displays here. Here's the cook, the lady of the house. Here's the dining room. That might be the maid. And I'm guessing piano teacher. I think this is a pretty rare musical instrument. Calliophone calliope. Boy, those are nicely polished brass. Here's an old dairy wagon. Nice orange color. And beside it here is a horse and buggy. A couple more buggies and a sleigh. Here's the pharmacist. A guy in an iron lung. And this looks like a doctor's office. I don't know if I would trust a doctor who has a couple coffins ready in his office. <laughs> They're covering everything here. There's an optometrist office. Bunch of glasses. They call them spectacles back then. And here is the dentist. My favorite one. At least the one I've seen the most. <laughs> Here's the print shop. Linotype. Big linotype machine. There's a press, and here is a photo studio. Man, look how big this camera is. There used to be some even bigger than that. They got a bunch of old cameras on display. Okay, folks, let's see who can guess what this is. Any idea? It really surprised me. <laughs> And there's the blueprints right there. I don't know how it works. Here's the post office. Front and back. If you're working behind it. I guess that's what it looks like. Got a Western Union teletype. Telephone office. I bet she's been working here for a mighty long time. <laughs> Telephones, 1990, going back to 1910. Got a payphone, radio station, actually it's a shortwave station. A lot of old radios here. Movie projector from 1905. 
look at this really small TV the screen it's just like that big now here's your radio station where your DJ does his thing got some sports outfits here that guy is really in style <laughs> I think this lady could put on a few pounds look at these legs funny I've been in a lot of car museums I've never seen the model in I don't think well let's go down the line here see the antique cars that bicycle that's a Ford Model A they got a 63 Ford Falcon convertible and this little scooter is a Hiawatha Doodlebug 46 Wow and a Seagrave make fire engine here's the back end of it this guy looks happy the lucky strike ad and they got a bunch of cigar boxes here a can of Prince Albert and Sir Walter Raleigh these cigarettes are toasted that makes it sound good here's a mock-up of a old store she doesn't look too happy <laughs> working here There's some toasters. I guess they put the cigarettes in there. <laughs> Harry's Ice Cream Sweet Shop and Newsstand. That looks genuine. They got a big doll collection here too. Nice dollhouse. Take a look at her nice got a cowgirl here <laughs> she looks raring to go well, folks this is what you need to make your own brooms you need one of these machines you get your straw somewhere and here is the final product I bet you would love to make some brooms that's what you need Got a model farm here. Somebody put a lot of work into that. Nice fur coat. And what do you call these? <laughs> Ooh, a buffalo bison. And this guy looks cozy. This pig was so important. He got stuffed. Two-legged pig. How about that? And they got representation of the Campfire Girls, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. A lot of the equipment, badges and things they had. And this must be the Girl Scout leader. They also have some buildings outside. That's a schoolhouse. And there's an outhouse. <laughs> and there's a well. And this, just a log cabin. And there's a smaller one out here. Oh, that's the jail. <laughs> Rockwell Jailhouse. too dark in here to see much there's bars on the window wood price is not bad back in 1889 <laughs> the pioneer fire extinguisher 
This building says Fredrickson. It's a blacksmith shop. And the old equipment is still here. And a wagon. And this other building has a bunch of old farm equipment. And they got a caboose. And one of those little rail cars. Got a water pump that goes down into this big tub. I don't know what that would be used for. Maybe watering horses. And lastly is this huge thing from the Alice Chalmers Company. I don't know what it is. This is what it looks like from the side. Well, I'd say this is one of the better pioneer museums that I've seen. Good day, folks.